Stephen Marsh, Ice Time Hockey Southwest. Uh, Zach, we'll start with you. Um, going into this game, this was the final time you guys were going to play Abbotsford in the regular season. Um, was it extra important to, to, to get this win against them in the final meeting? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, wins are always important, especially with a, such a heavy division schedule. Every game is a four-point game, and they'll, they'll come down and uh, – at the end of the season, each game will count. So, um, especially since we were unable to beat them the previous three meetings, um, they'll remember this one going into playoffs if we ever come against them. Um, it's just something that will be in the back of their minds if we come against them in playoffs. And then this was the first ever lucky launch game uh, with the take. Um, was it important to get that goal early to, to, to get the energy in the building and to get those get those teddy bears um, out as soon, soon as you could? Uh, yeah, definitely. The guys don't really think about it too much. It's just, it's just another goal with just a little bit more of a break in between. Um, I definitely think that the momentum shifts when that goal happens. Uh, because, of, because of the break, uh, they have to sit on that, on that goal for an extended period of time, five, ten minutes, however long it takes to get the bears cleaned up. So I definitely think it helps with a momentum swing. But uh, I like guess a team, we don't didn't really worry about it too much. If it happens, it happens whenever that may be. Derek, for you, um, this is uh, you're you're fairly new to the team this season. Um, what what has it been like playing with the with the Silver Knights and just being able to to be with these guys and uh, so far this season? Um, it's been good so far. I mean, you can see we're starting to come together uh, as a team. You know, now, now that we've kind of <clears throat> gotten through our injuries, um, gotten some guys back. Um, it's a good, good young group of guys that we've got here. Um, you know, it, they bring a lot of energy to the rink every day, so it's, uh, it's good. Um, you know, it's been a lot of fun so far. Yeah, and you guys have been um, coming back from a lot of games today. You didn't have to do that, so was that kind of a nice change to kind of, um, uh, you know, to have to not have to come back? Uh, you know, it was tied, but you didn't, you didn't, you weren't down and have to come back. You guys were kind of in control. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it, it was a tight game, um, you know, up until the third period there. Uh, you know, we stuck with our system. You know, we worked hard. We played the way we wanted to for, for the entire game. So, um, you know, we need to learn how to, to manage those situations, how to play, um, you know, tied or, or up one goal, you know, not give anything up. And, and um, you know, I thought we did a really good job of that tonight. And, and for you, Zach, uh, just um – you know, playing these teams in this division, uh, it's, a t it's a tough league, it's a tough division. Um, I guess just what, what did you see from Abbotsford this weekend and just the way they play and just and their style of play and, and, and you know, and how? Uh, they're a pretty veteran team. They've got a lot of guys who've played a lot of games in the NHL, AHL, overseas. They've got a lot of older guys, and they can kind of play any style of game that's needed. Uh, they could play a run-and-gun game. They've got the speed for that. They've got the skill for that. They can grind it out in the corners in a 2-1 two, two game, overtime game that's happened both times this time. It's, uh, they're, they're pretty similar to us where we can kind of flip back and forth between which style of game is needed. So I think that's a, a good challenge for us to be able to just switch it and see what kind of style of game we need to play. And then one more for both of you. Just... Um, can build on this now and you can you have Ontario coming in here on Wednesday they're one of the top teams in the division and they're a tough team um, so what do you guys have to do to just to continue to build on on this win to to be, play Ontario there you can go. yeah I mean they're they're a very skilled team you know they've got some guys that can that can wheel around out there and, and their power plays uh, you know their power plays very good as we saw when we played them earlier in the year so it's a big game before the Christmas break um, you know to try and keep some momentum um, you know going after the break um, you know, and it's, you know, it's one of the top teams that we're going to play uh, this year. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. And, um, you know, it'll be a, be a good, good way to end the, end the break here. Yeah, definitely. I think we just need to, against a team like that, where they can turn it on with the flip of a switch, we just definitely have to play a 60-minute game. Uh, last time they were here, we kind of had that little, a little lapse, and they were able to score three in five, ten minutes. So I think we just have to put a full 60 together which we've been better at doing over the last couple of games. So we just have to continue that.